two, the badass women of history. So according to whyislam.org, um, Fatima, I think I'm saying, I mean, I always knew that as a Hispanic name, Fatima. So I'm going to say it in, in Fatima al Firi, founder of world's first university, Sumara Khan. Uh, the name Fatima or Fatima al Firi crowns the annals of history with the distinction of having established the world's first university. Yes, it was a Muslim woman who pioneered a model of higher learning coupled with the issuance of degrees of various levels. So a Muslim woman created the idea, the concept of a university. Pantheon.world says that Fatima al um or Fatima bint Muhammad al Faria was an Arab woman who is credited with founding the al Karu. Karawiyan Mosque in 859 AD in Fez, Morocco. She is also known as Um al Banain. Uh, she died around 880 AD. So, where is this? I think this is Wiki. A uh, story according to traditional accounts. Uh, Fatima was born around 800 AD in the town of Kauruawin in present day Tunisia. Let me turn this down a bit. Uh, Tunisia. Yeah, well, let me turn this down. Let's put something on over here. I'll be right back. Take a seat. Some drink mixed. All right. Um, she is of Arab Qurayshi descent, hence the Nisba al Qurayshia or the Quraysh Quraysh one. Anyway, her family was part of a large migration to Fez from Kairan, although her family did not start out wealthy. Her father, Muhammad al Firi, became a successful merchant. When he died, this wealth was inherited by Fatima and her sister, Maryam. It is with this money that they went on to leave their legacy with. Little is known about her personal life except for what was recorded by 14th century historian Ibn Abizar. This may be partly due to the fact that al Karwiyan's archives suffered a large fire in the year 1323. Al-Fahir was married, but both her husband and father died shortly after the wedding. Her father left his wealth to both Fatima and her sister, his only children. She and her sister Maryam were well-educated and studied the Islamic jurisprudence F-I-Q-H, Fiqh, and the Hadith, or the records of Prophet Muhammad. Both went on to found mosque in Fez. Fatima founded al Karawiyan and Maryam founded al Andalus. This idea was spurred on by the fact that due to all the Muslims fleeing like Fatima and her family, they were all gathering immigrants that were devout worshippers keen on learning and studying their faith. With as many immigrants as there were, there was overcrowding and not enough space, resources, or teachers to accommodate them. According to Ibn Abizar, Fatima used the money inherited from her father to build the al Karawiyan Mosque, named for the immigrants from her city. Her sister Maryam built the Andalusian Mosque, named for the immigrants of, from the city of Andalusia, present-day southern Spain. That reminds me on the Vikings show when they went when they were when the Vikings were going past Spain they were there were Muslims there in Spain at the time uh, it wasn't Catholic at the time although they started out as mosque or religious gatherings for places for Muslims gathering places for Muslims Fatima's community had outgrown their mosque and she vowed to build a new and larger one 
Fatima used the money she inherited from her father to purchase a mosque that was built around 845 AD under the supervision of King Yahya Ibn Muhammad. She then rebuilt it and bought the surrounding land, doubling its size. The construction project was su supervised by Fatima herself. As Tunisian historian Hassan Hosni Abdel Wahab noted in his book, Famous Tunisian Women, she committed to using only the land she had purchased. She dug deep into the land, unearthing yellow sand, plaster, and stone to use so as to not draw suspicion from others for using too many resources. So, man, she was smart. She did it like Minecraft, like where you, to be safe, you, you dig down and just keep it interesting. The mosque took 18 years to construct. According to Moroccan history historian Abdeladi Tazi, Alfiri fasted until the project's completion. When it was finished, she went inside and prayed to God, thanking him for his blessings. She, so she fasted for 18 years? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, she named it after the immigrants from her hometown of Karayuin. According to tradition, Fatima's sister Miriam also found a similar, also founded a similar mosque in the district across the river the same year in 859 with help from local Andalusian families, which became known as the Al Andalusian Mosque or Mosque of the Andalusians. Wow. So some of that I didn't, it was so hard to read. A lot of that was just names, but basically this girl who grew up poor and had a sister um, her dad became rich because of, he was selling shit. He was a merchant. And uh, she had enough money and decided to devote it to her people and her faith in a time where they were poor and on the run. And that simple, she didn't do it to become the first university. She didn't have that plan at first, but that's what it became. 